Hello folks, it's me, Sinister Demon here. Welcome to another Gary's Mod tutorial. I'm going to turn my microphone up. That's maybe a little bit too much, but it should be fine. Welcome to another Gary's Mod tutorial. And today I will be showing you something which has literally been plaguing me for months. And it's been something that has been very highly, um, I don't know, suggested. And it's something which I should have done a long time ago, but never really got around to. So today I will be showing you how to add an, a Steam Workshop add-on to your server. This also includes having it so then when other people join your server, then they will automatically download it so you don't have to go to the workshop and download the separate add-ons themselves. So this will be how to set up your add-ons and how to um, set up your fast downloads in a sense. Now I just want to keep in mind this isn't actually a fast download in a sense. Uh, the fast downloads are usually meant for um, for like materials and other add-ons, which are usually done through um, different like you know online servers, and they download and the the player will download something from a server. This is a ad workshop um, thing. <laughs> basically, all this will do is uh, just basically uh, ads workshop stuff so that's just obviously the difference between a fast download and what we're doing today don't worry you're on the right video i just thought i'd clear the space a little bit okay right so here we have our gary's mod we're not going to use it yet because what we're going to do is we're going to find a kick-ass um thing to download so i just need to change my screen size because my desktop's a mess on my main screen so i'm using this one right okay let's find something cool on the workshop If my Steam wants to actually hurry up and, you know, do shit. Okay, in its very slow taking time, we now have Workshop. Hmm, what do we want? Right, I think I would like... I don't know. I'm not sure. There's, there's so much terrible content on the workshop. I just don't know which one to pick. Um, I don't know. I want to get like a weapon or something. Like a decent weapon. God damn it. There's just crap on here and I'm not going to use a Five Nights at Freddy's workshop thing. Like no offense to all the people who like Five Nights at Freddy's, but stop taking over other games with your crap. I don't need it. And neither does anyone else. Go away. It's just god awful. Um, it really took me too long to actually, I don't know, find something. <laughs> I don't know why. Um, Alright, screw it. Right, World War Two weapons. Okay, so we found World War Two weapons. Oh, check it out. There's some guns we can use. Really, really tiny guns. Which would be fun for us. Okay, right. Um, Alright. Okay, so basically what we're going to do is we're going to subscribe to this. Nice and normally, subscribe. Then what you'll notice is it'll obviously download to your, uh, to your client. Once it has done that, we are going to get... A program called GMAT Extractor. Now, those of you should already have this if you've watched some of my previous videos. If not, just Google GMAT, that's not GMAT, GMAT Extractor. And it is this one, this top one, the treesoft.dk. So download that and install that. And that will now be on your computer. Just it's a basic install, so I don't need to throw it show you through that. And then you want to find where your Gmod extractor is. My one, I've made a shortcut on my favorites called Gmod Tools. And it is by here, my Gmod extractor. 
So we will double click this, open this, and what we are going to do now is basically take the .gma file, which has been now added to Gary's mod, because that should have, yeah, that's finished. So we'll browse, we will go to our Gary's mod, we will find out where it is, which I can't even remember what I got now. World War II weapons, here it is, so a .gma file. Now this is completely useless in the sense of putting that dead onto a server. That means nothing to anyone. So, right, we're going to open this. Here it is. Click it, select, voila. And then we're going to click extract all, take it to your um, server, which I obviously have, I have two because of just normal stuff. So I use this one, go to Gary's mod, add-ons, make a folder for it. So we will call it World War II weapons. One thing as well, if you're working on a Linux server, then they don't like spaces or anything. So it'd be like World War. Oh, they don't like spaces and like um, upper caps. So it'd be like World War II weapons. Just don't go into it. Just click it. So select and then select folder. And then we will extract the folder. There we go. You can exit that. And now if we go over to our zombie folder, add-ons, check it out. World War II weapons, all of our files are here. So we have all our lure files, all our weapon files, all that is now in there. So this now means that my zombie server has World War II weapons um, implemented into it. So if I want to, say, change a weapon now, I can go in, change it, yada, yada, yada. I shouldn't have clicked that because now that's going to load up. Uh, so, no, let's go to that. It's on my other screen, by the way. There we go. So yeah, we now have World War II weapons and men on the server. However, unless someone has World War II weapons actually just generally downloaded themselves out of pure coincidence, or you tell them to download a, co um, a collection, then they're not going to find this. So no, this this so so they'll basically see an error. So now what I'm going to show you is I'm going to show you how to um, get it so they automatically download the add-on on joining the server. Okay, so firstly what we're going to do is we're going to find that same add-on because I should have done this to start off with. So, subscribed items. There it is. Our World War II weapons. Okay, now what I want to do is you want to add it to a collection. Now if you don't know how to make a collection you go to your workshop your work, no wait, Shh, give me a minute, yeah there we go, so hover over browse, go to collections, create collection, and you can give your collection a title, um, la, 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 la. you can give it a title, set a brand image, so right, I'll just I'll make one for you guys, tutorial, set a brand image, I don't want one, describe my collection, this is a tut uh, tutorial, yo, uh, what kind of collection is this? Now these ones are important. These are items that will work together. This way then it makes us own, say if someone wants to actually get the collection, they can subscribe to all. So yes, just items that will work together. Uh, make it all this, obviously this is server content. Save and continue. I need to choose a branding image, supposedly, so my branding image will be... Um... Okay. We gotta get a branding image now. Um, we'll go. We'll get this weird thing I found on the workshop. There we go. Save and continue. Right now, this is a bit where you can obviously add stuff you've already subscribed to. So obviously, I've already now subscribed to this uh, World War Two weapons. So I can find that in my subscriptions. World War Two weapons and press plus. And there it is. Save and continue. And publish. There we go. So now we have our World War II weapons in this beautiful little collection. However, if I'm doing it just using a normal, like just finding a random add on, so say we want Deadpool, it would be a case of. It's a pretty good add on. Just click on Add Collection, uh, Tutorial. Okay. So now that is going to be in our. 
Damn it. Now that is going to be in our, there we are, our um, collection. Now the reason I show you this is simply because it will help when it comes to actually, um, you know, organizing all your add-ons. Okay, so now what we're going to do is click on our World War II weapons. And we'll save that for later, so we'll throw over here. All right, now this is where we're going to make the Lua uh, the Lua script to actually um, make well to actually get people to download stuff. Okay, so right, what we're going to do? Go into your server, click Gary's mod, Lua, auto run server. Okay, now in here we're going to make a new file and call it um, I don't know workshop dot Lua. Oh. Yep. Workshop.lua. Okay. We'll edit this. Alright. Now, with this, we're going to put in just one single line of code. Now, what this is, we'll just get rid of those. Save. Alright. So now, just one line of code, which is resource dot add workshop with a capital A and a capital W open bracket um, quotation quotation close bracket okay that is it no oh, I there's there's one more thing I'll show you but basically what this is is this just basically this this pretty much just says to get the resource you gotta add a workshop folder a workshop workshop item and the ID of it goes in here. Now our ID will be say you click share. It's this little but this is a little bit by here. So this random number on the end. So we'll copy that and paste it in between our quotation marks. And that is it. That is all you need to do. Only issue with this is that you have to do this for every single add-on that you have on your server. Now, I'm not saying you got to make a new Lua file, but what you what I recommend doing is just like well, what you've got to do is just make a new line. So, say I've got 20 add-ons, I'd have to make you know 20 copies of this, and then just put a sing then put a different ID in for each add-on. So. You know, it gets kind of uh, it gets kind of difficult, and for those of you who have knowledge in Lua and stuff like that, did I even save? Oh, damn it! God damn it! All right. Well, yeah. So there's that. Save and close. Yeah, for those of you who have uh, any knowledge in Lua, obviously keep in mind that you can only have so many add-ons on a Gary's mod server before your server completely collapses and dies. Now, I don't mean that in um like an over-exaggerated way. I mean it will just completely crash. Like, it won't work. So just keep that in mind when you're adding uh, add-ons to your server. But no. Now, when I join up my zombie server, this will run and it will make me automatically download this piece. Um, see if I can unsubscribe. I'll unsubscribe to my, my thing. I'll start at my zombie server and just see if I can show you guys. All right, so fine game, local network, dark RP, and here is my zombie server. Uh, now, hopefully, if I haven't, if I've done it, you know, if things are going all right, it should say by here now, mounting stuff from workshop and all this kind of crap. Or it'll just stop responding because for some reason, that's what my Gary's mod loves to do now. Workshop complete. There we go. Right, that, that's, that shows that it works. The fact that I actually took something from the workshop. And it just keeps not responding. It's because I need to really do a wipe on my Gary's mod. And it's just completely dying on me. <laughs> Will I get anything else out of you? I'm not sure. Hmm. No 
I don't think it's going to have any of it. No, I think it's... Oh, there we go. Right, now, nah, never mind. Setting client info. Um, all right, well, actually, no, no, never mind. Right, what I'll show you now is obviously because I've unsubscribed to that World War Two weapons. I, I did it whilst I was paused. Um, You know, just before, obviously, I joined the server. So now, obviously, you take my word for it, I haven't got the World War Two weapons, like, added. So that's not on my... You know, that, that's, that's not been added or subscribed myself. You know, it's added to my collection and stuff. But that doesn't mean it's, like, actually added to me. So hopefully now when I join the server, I can actually use the World War II weapons. Okay, here we are. Okay, moment of truth. Weapons. Um, there they are, our day defeat World War Two weapons, which are even lagging out for me as we speak. My, my, this isn't a problem with the server, this is literally my Gary's mod, it is awful. Where are we? There we go, alright, there's our World War Two weapons. And if you can see, even though you can't because I'm in a shadowed room, if you can see, they work, yay! These guns don't seem that bad, actually. Other than the fact they probably seem small to everyone else. So we got. So, oh, look at that! We've got a little bit of a wobble. So we got some shit, shit. And I'm a terrible shot. There we go. Well, I, mean, I just noticed they actually bleed when you shoot them with these. That's pretty cool. Ooh. Ooh, baby! I actually think I like these guns. But yeah. So yeah, that's how to um, that's how to add a, that's how to add add-ons and yeah, and add a fast DL to your server. So until next time, thank you very much for watching. Kapowie.